Have you ever thought about making your own bread, but you don't have the equipment, patience, or desire to get your hands dirty? Well, me too, to all three. This recipe is easy, uses only a handful of ingredients, and you never have to get your hands dirty. Welcome back to my kitchen, or if you're new here, my name is Stephanie, and this is Ginger Snap Kitchen. To my largest mixing bowl, I added four cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of kosher salt, two teaspoons of granulated sugar, and two and a quarter teaspoons of instant yeast. Then I whisk them all together. Then I added two cups of lukewarm water. I stirred it all together with a rubber spatula and mixed it until the water was fully absorbed and it forms a sticky ball of dough. Here's what I'm listening to while I work. Once it formed a dough ball, I covered the bowl with plastic wrap and I set it in a warm spot for about 90 minutes. Because it was about 15 degrees the day I was filming this, I didn't have a warm spot in the house. So I turned my oven on to 100 degrees and when it reached that temperature, I turned it off, put the bowl of dough inside and left the light on. I closed the door and waited hopefully. While I waited, I generously greased two glass oven safe bowls with softened butter. Then I removed the dough from the oven. I unwrapped it and with the forks, I pulled the edges of the dough toward the center, which deflated it and turned it into a loose ball. Then I separated the dough into two equal sized pieces and I transferred each half to the prepared bowls. I pushed it around with the fork to make it into a ball shape. When that was done, I preheated my oven to 425 degrees. Then I moved the two bowls of dough to the stovetop, uncovered, and allowed them to rest there for about 15 minutes. They will rise again during that period. After 15 minutes, I transfer the bowls to the oven and bake them for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I reduced the oven temperature to 375 degrees and baked them for an additional 20 minutes until they were golden brown. Once they were as brown as I liked, I removed them from the oven and turned them out onto a cooling rack. I allowed them to cool for 20 minutes before cutting. I tried it with a little salted butter and I could not have been happier with how this turned out. There are a few things in life that are as good as homemade, warm, freshly baked bread. If you have any interest at all in making bread, I highly recommend this. It's delicious. I appreciate you stopping by to watch this video, and if you enjoyed it, I would love it if you'd hit the subscribe button before you go. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys.